So I wanted to talk about a very, very particular topic that uh, it's a bit interesting. That's that uh, failure is always an option. I learned that kind of the hard way yesterday. Uh, I s- kind of screwed up my Linux install. Uh, and it was something that was kind of predetermined almost by an action I had made almost a month ago that just came to a head yesterday. <laughs> so I installed Minjar Linux on the same hard drive that I had Windows. I had, let me turn this down a little bit. I had put it on my uh, C drive. I just partitioned a little bit for Linux, like 100 gigs or something, because I was trying it out. I really liked it and I allocated more and more space to it. And everything was good, because I never loaded back into Windows. And I had this for like two or three, like three weeks now almost, maybe a little more, like a good month. And it's been going great. I've been loving it. I set it all up. I configured my desktop. It was perfect. The problem was the moment I logged back into Windows, Windows was like, hey, you need to update. And I was like, oh no. And it updated and then it ran check disk, which was, oh no. And it was like, there are all these errors. I'm like, oh, what? what? I, I, I mean, I can't stop it. So it did its thing, and it borked my Linux install entirely. The entire partition was so corrupted I couldn't even access the files on the safe bootable media version of Vanjaro. It was like just completely borked. And I tried fixing the bootloader, I tried fixing Grub. There was nothing I could do, it was corrupted. And it's so funny. Because I just finished my progress reports. I just said I was done because it was stable, right? It wasn't going to change. And that doesn't make for an interesting video, this consistent thing. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to be doing this anymore. So I'll just do a new series. And immediately, like two days later, bam, corrupted. Got to start over. (laughs) Um... Yeah, and so I was complacent, and I was like, oh, this is not going to change, you know? I, I've succeeded, I've won. And failure was still like, eh, I'm, I'm going I'm to get in there. I'm going I'm to do my thing. And so, now here we are. I spent a couple hours yesterday reinstalling and that whole thing, getting it all set up. And I still haven't set it entirely up. I only spent a few hours because... I didn't sleep good or anything the last couple days. Let me undo this and switch hands to the best of my ability. So, that's that. I completely removed Windows. In a fit of rage, I had completely reformatted that entire drive and just got rid of Windows entirely. No safety net, no nothing. It's just gone. But, (laughs) yeah. Failure can always happen. Even when you think things are good and stable, it can sneak up on you. But interesting thing about this is it's running better now than it ever has. I don't know if getting rid of the Windows partition fixed it, or if something was wrong with my install to begin with last time, but It used to run at like four gigs of RAM use. Now I'm getting like two, which is just so much better. And I'm running like all the same stuff except for Conky. Haven't installed that yet. But yeah, never assume that you're too big to fail or that you're in a place where failure can't happen. Because this was something that was going to happen eventually. I was eventually going to log into Windows and it was gonna do this. That was just inevitable because of something I had set up a month ago. (sighs) So that can happen. (laughs) But it's better now. It can't happen again, well, 
not gonna say that. It probably won't happen again since I got rid of Windows. And if you're going to dual boot, don't put them on the same drive. Don't do what I did. Learn my lesson from me. Well, that's that. See ya.